Happy May the 4th. Verbal Riot. What's happening, guys? Welcome back to the show. Yeah, it's May the 4th. We were entering our, what is it? How many years have we been doing this now? This May the 4th thing? I, I can't even remember. I know it was uh, fairly recent, though. I know we haven't always been doing this. But uh, either way, we're here. And I don't know how excited I am about it. I'm sure some of you guys probably are. You know, some of you guys who are still fans of the franchise. But uh, as for myself, not so much lately. And geez, I wonder why. <laughs> but uh, here we are, another May the 4th. And either way, uh, as with every May the 4th, there is new trailers that are dropped. There's new information given on new projects. And sure enough, Disney dropped the, a trailer for The Acolyte. This is the second trailer for The Acolyte, I should say. So uh, how this is going to differ from the first trailer who knows i i gotta tell you i wasn't blown away by the first trailer who knows maybe the second trailer will do something for me maybe maybe the second trailer will actually surprise me right so i haven't watched it yet i'm about to watch it now because i got it just right when everyone else got it so haven't had time to watch it but i'm doing it right now with you and uh yeah let's watch this thing together man Last night, a Jedi was murdered. The Jedi justify their galactic dominance in the name of peace. But that peace is a lie. Jedi are being hunted. She was my student. I trained her. Let me be the one to bring her in. I sense this is only a small part of a larger plan. Some sort of shift to tip the scales. It's time to defeat the past. Destiny is not decided for you by an anonymous force. If you want to pull the thread and change everything, then pull it. What are you? Okay, so maybe one thing that was different from the last trailer, I don't know. I, I, am I excited about this? No, no. I, you know what's weird, man? Like I, I, I was watching this trailer, and I was thinking to myself, if this were just some regular kung fu movie, right? If it was like a kung fu martial arts thing that some other studio decided to do, you know, just based on that, based on the action, it seems like it would be interesting, right? It seems like it would be something worth watching, right? My problem is, is this is Star Wars, okay? <laughs> it's Star Wars, and even more than that, it is the High Republic Star Wars, which has this weird fan base, man, that I don't know. They they claim it's... it's you know, the real Star Wars, right? It's it's like the best thing ever. It's the George Lucas couldn't have done no better than the High Republic, right? It, it, it's a weird era of Star Wars that a lot of weirdos have kind of attached themselves to. And I'm not going to lie. The, the trailer wasn't terrible. It just wasn't. It was just meh, right? Like, like it wasn't a bad trailer. And you know, for all intents and purposes, I, I guess it, it, it does what it's supposed to do, which is, you know, promote a, a murder mystery 
a, a Jedi murder mystery, which I, I guess is going to be the plot of the show. But I it, it did nothing to propel me to want to watch it, is what I'm trying to say, right? As far as the, the, the star power in it, you know, you have Carrie Ann Moss, who we all know as Trinity from The Matrix. And she's usually good in what she does. And that alone, you know, might push some people to watch it. Uh, I you have the guy from the from Squid Game, right? Who I think is the lead or one of the leads. He's not the lead because he's a man. So <laughs> Disney can't have any male leads anymore. So he might be one of the leads, you know, that he's definitely sharing with his uh, female uh, co-stars, right? And so, uh, I, and I, I forgot his name. I I think it's. Lee Jung something? Lee Jung Jai? I, I can't remember. I, I think that's him. I, I, I could just be being very racist right now and just calling him any other, you know, Asian actor's name. But uh, either way, man, look, it, at, at this point, D- Star Wars is divided, man. It's divided. I'm so, I, it, it's, and to me, it's divided between the fans and the fakers, right? And, and I hate to put it in, 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 in definitive lines like that, right? Those extremes. But that's kind of what it is. I feel like people who hate Star Wars, people who hate Star Wars will love the Acolyte. Because all of current day Disney is is opposed to anything that's real Star Wars, right? Like anything George Lucas had his hand in, they're doing everything they can to undermine it. They're doing everything they can to erase his legacy, right? So you have the real Star Wars fans, those who want to protect uh, George's legacy, and then you have these new fans, right? (laughs) The people who hate Star Wars, basically. You know, the ones who love The Last Jedi, right? Because it, 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 it destroys the mythology of the Jedi. And what George Lucas created. You get what I'm saying? So there how how is this show how is this going to do? I don't know. I I I think look, if they get enough people hate watching it, like Velma, like Velma season two, if they get enough hate people watching it, I think the Alkali will do well. It'll do fine. Unfortunately, what what that will do is for some reason encourage Disney to make more shit. Right, um, it, it 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 is somehow validate them and what they're doing, and, and and you know maybe push them to make more of this shit. <laughs> I don't know. I I I'm I'm just at this point. I'm just I'm so I used to be, and it's funny because I'm saying all of this on May the fourth, right? And I I I just I used to love Star Wars, man. I used to love Star Wars. I. God, I had the lunch pill, the 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 figures, the toys, the the ships, the the blankets, the underwear. I I loved it with everything I had. And and you, guys, even though I'm laughing and joking about this, it, it, it there, there's there's a certain part of me, man. It's just like I feel like I'm. It kills me inside a little because something I used to love so much is is gone. It's gone, man. Bastardized, right? It, it it's the it, it, it's 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 the current trend of taking something that we all loved, right, and destroying it. So that so in, in the name of progress and in the name of inclusion, right, and in the name of of diversity and all this other shit, it, it, it's taking what we love because they cannot hear me. They cannot create on their own. Activists don't know how to create. They only know how to hijack and destroy, right? And when they see people who oppose them, they want to hijack their uh, the things that they love, right? They want they want to they want to basically take from us, right? Not that not they don't want to do anything good with it. They just don't want us to have it, <laughs> right? So again, it's just really hard for me to get behind uh, anything related to Lucasfilm these days. I won't even get behind their video games anymore, to be honest with you. You know, Je- uh, uh, Jedi Survivor, all, 
fun game. I played it a little bit at a friend's house, right? Because I'm, I'm, I'm not spending my money on that shit. And you know what? It is a good game, but I'm not going to support them anymore. You get what I'm saying? I'm not going to support Disney that way anymore. Or at least Lucasfilm. Yeah, you might as well just say Disney at this point. All of Disney. But either way, guys, uh, I I don't have a lot to say about this trailer, man. I'm I it is what it is. It, it we it's not going to get any better than what we're seeing right now. So let's just say that this is the final trailer for the show. The show comes out next month. So I, I'm pretty sure at this point all we're going to get are TV spots. But this is probably the last real trailer we're going to see for it, which is fine. I, I don't need to see any more. You know, maybe one day, maybe one day Kathleen Kennedy will lose her job. Maybe one day Disney will fall you know, back into the right hands. And, uh, you know, I, I just, I want companies and I want these studios to get back to respecting fans. I know, I know that's a lot to ask for. I know, I, I know it'll probably never happen, but I just kind of wish they would get back to respecting their fans. If you're going to watch this show, by all means, man, enjoy it. I'm not telling you what to watch, what not to watch. I won't be watching it, but or, or maybe I will just to review it, but it, definitely not from a Disney Plus account. I'll find another way, if you get what I'm saying. <laughs> I'll find another way to watch it, but uh, definitely not through Disney Plus. So same way I'm watching X-Men uh, 97 right now, because like I said, I'm not going to give them a penny more of my money. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I had to watch this trailer because, hey, it's May the 4th and everyone else is watching it and talking about it. I figure I would talk about it, too, even though I didn't have a lot to say about it. Uh, I, I wish Carrie Ann Moss well, and I hope that, you know, even if this bombs, if I want even if this bombs, I want her to be OK and get other roles. And, you know, I doubt this will tank her career, but. And because I, I don't, and I'm only saying her name because she's literally the only person with a name in this show, right? Because everyone else, you know, was picked by committee, including one of the lead characters in the show, the the green alien chick, who is the wife or girlfriend of Leslie Hel- Henlon, the the studio exec who used to work for Harvey Weinstein. Uh, by the way, who used to fetch the girls for him. You know, good work, Disney, with that. Uh, Her wife is the other main character in the show. So imagine that. Anyway, guys, (laughs) Uh, thanks for tuning in, man. Uh, Yeah, you know, I had to talk about it. I always love when you guys uh, support me and watch my stuff. Uh, Even when I go on crazy rants, you know, um, you guys stick with me and I appreciate you. Uh, yeah, uh, so subscribe to the channel if you haven't. I uh, would greatly appreciate it. Uh, you can also follow me on X. You can also follow me on Rumble under the same name. And I will talk to you guys soon.